you know, with our motto being alert plus aware equals alive, we feel that, that so many of these accidents and um, fatalities can be avoided if, if teenagers just know the laws, they're alert behind the wheel, they make good decisions and you know, realize that, that, that the car is, is, a, is a machine and can, and can do a lot of damage, 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 damage. Well, first, the goal of the project was to uh, create student-produced safe driving PSAs, public service announcements um, on all aspects of driving that, that students and teenagers will expect, especially nowadays with uh, text messaging while driving, um, distracted driving, of course, you know, drugs and drinking and driving. Those are all big things that we thought needed to be highlighted. Although the class only originally intended on making video PSAs, they decided to push the project further than intended originally. Go. Did you know that every third week in October is National Teen Driver Safety? One of the first additions to the project was a series of safe driving radio PSAs, which students recorded and edited themselves. The PSAs are currently being played at another local high school's radio station and are available to download and stream on the website. To help spread and promote the word of safe driving, the class created a website, alertawarealive.com, which features the video and radio PSAs that the class created. It also has a lot of important information on safe driving and many important links that can help save lives. Uh, on October 17th, uh, the actual day came up, but we had a lot of preparation for it. Um, students have spent, I would say, over 100 hours just on that day uh, alone contacting people like the CHP, um, Mothers Against Drunk Driving. We have a local safety center that has a driving simulation um, unit uh, that they, they auctioned off the use of. We also had local radio stations, uh, local TV stations set to come out. Um, one of our state assemblymen came out, so this became a really big deal, um, getting a crashed car on site, just a lot of different visuals and um, stations, I guess you could say, for the students to visit during their lunchtime to talk about safe driving and, um, and just the risks that they face out there. Along with the crashed car and informational booths, the students at the Bella Vista video production class also created games relating to safe driving that challenged other students. The games varied from having students identify different road signs to showing the dangers of distracted driving by showing students how hard it can be to multitask. All in all, the day was very successful and it set out what it was originally meant to do, get students involved in learning about safe driving. Another really big part of this grant was uh, not just working here within our school and within our own classrooms, um, we realized very quickly that, that no man is an island, as they say, and we really wanted to communicate with all other Project Ignition schools. Um, we were able to help a number of schools on the complete opposite side of the country uh, work on uploading videos to YouTube, work on webcasts for um, projects that they were putting on, and even sent out a number of our DVDs of the Every 15 Minutes program that we have done in the past to uh, schools that needed video footage. So really we're trying to create a community of schools that have been developing Project Ignition um, uh, events and connected them together so that as this project continues year after year, we're just co continually building this um, internet of people and communication. Well, we all kind of collaborated together through a lot of the events that we planned. I um, helped out a lot at the lunch day. We ran some games and we've also been producing video, short videos to um, help keep people um, safe on the road and also we made radio PSAs and I recorded a few of those and I've been editing. Well in my class specifically I like to have uh, students do almost all the work including the writing for this grant. Students wrote the whole grant. I just oversaw and made sure that um, that things look correctly, look correct and I just oversaw things and made sure it looked correct and that they would 
um, be able to, to get the grant, but all the communication with different agencies, all of the time spent in developing games, putting in hours outside of school, filming, driving um, videos and their radio PSAs, that's all been in the students' hands. So while we kind of had a core of about 10 students working on these projects, um, the vibe really really uh, went out to, to all the students, not only a video class, but at our whole school. And I think it has made an impact. Seeing students um, put their own angle with the different videos and radio PSAs that we've done, um, just the whole presence of Project Ignition on our campus has had a huge effect.